Geeks, uh, welcome back to the Astro Forum channel and thanks for tuning in as always. Uh, today I wanted to share with you the latest astronomical object that I was able to capture, which is da -da -da -da, the Western Veil Nebula. And as you might know, the Western Veil Nebula is part of the what is called the Cygnus Loop. And the Cygnus Loop is a broader region uh, which contains a lot of nebula actually. So it contains a lot of ionized hydrogen and ionized oxygen gases. And uh, when you use your narrowband filters especially, uh, you can beautifully capture all of those nebula in the Cygnus Loop. And in this video I wanted to share with you uh, my post-processing process. So um, I will share with you how I was able to stack all of the Im images in the Deep Sky Stacker. And then um, I will show you my post-processing uh, steps in Photoshop. If you have any comments don't hesitate to put them down, down below. And if you like this content please consider subscribing to this channel. And with that, uh, let's go to the post-processing part of this video. As you can see, we are currently in this beautiful program Deep Sky Stacker. And for those of you who do not know what Deep Sky Stacker is, I would highly recommend going to another video. Click on the link in this video to go to another video where I explain in more detail how you can use Deep Sky Stacker to stack each of your astro images. Um, as you can see, I will quickly explain what I did here. Uh, I have made uh, three groups, so for each of the narrowband filter I have used, I have created a group. So we have a main group, uh, which contains all of my pictures as taken through my hydrogen alpha narrowband filter. Uh, we have group 1, which uh, has all of the images as taken through my sulfur uh, filter. And then we have group 2, which contains all of my oxygen 3 filter images of the Western Veil Nebula. Um, for each of the groups, I also applied uh, 50 flat frames and 30 of uh, 35 flat frames and 50 dark frames to compensate. I have cooled all of my images at minus 25 Celsius, and uh, my shutter time for each of the pictures was, uh, was 300 seconds, so five minutes shutter time. And I have left my ZEWO 1600 Monoprone at Unity Game uh, 139. So um, let's move to Photoshop so I can show you what kind of stacks I ended up with. Um, and you can see here already, uh, this is the H alpha stack I ended up with. Unfortun unfortunately, I had only 23 frames that were good enough to be able to stack. So there was a lot of uh, airplanes uh, uh, moving through my picture, so I had to throw them away. And uh, I ended up with 23 frames stacked like this. And for the sulfur I ended up with uh, this, 41 frames uh, each 300 seconds stacked. Um, and for the oxygen, um, I really liked it by the way, the oxygen uh, filter, because it nicely shows the ionized oxygen uh, structure of the Western Veil Nebula. I've ended up with 31 frames here. And uh, yeah, what I always do in Photoshop, I first apply curves and level stretches to each of the pictures. If you want to know more on how to perform those curves, uh, curve and level stretches, please uh, click on the video that is shown now, because uh, there I explain in more detail how uh, that process works. But you really can see uh, that it is useful to do that, because... Uh, uh, this is uh, the result of the hydrogen alpha stack after applying some curves and stretches to the pictures. Um, so that is already nice. You can uh, nicely see the uh, yeah the, uh, the ionized hydrogen structures here, and also not only the Western uh, Veil Nebula, which is here, but also uh, this is a part of the broader Cygnus Loop structure, which I also found nice. Uh, I, I liked it a lot, so I included that also in the picture. Um, okay. So for sulfur, we I ended up uh, after uh, curve and level stretches with this picture, and for the oxygen three, I ended up with this picture. And uh, you can see here that uh, my framing was a little bit different because I have taken my uh, oxygen three images at a different night as compared to the H alpha and the S2 uh, image uh, stacks that I've just showed. Um, so this means that I have to crop out part of the image in order to have a nice picture. But uh, yeah, that uh, doesn't matter so much. Um, so 
I have combined each of these uh, three pictures uh, yeah, using uh, uh, um, yeah, a, a technique, an RGB technique, which I also already explained in another video. So um, please click on that link if you want to know more on how to combine those images. And I also applied the Hasta La Vista green filter. Please look at my uh, Lagoon uh, Nebula video where I explain how that filter works and where you can download that filter. And so after combining all of the pictures, I ended up with this first uh, combined uh, stack. Um, and uh, yeah, you can see it's overexposed, of, of course, still, but you can already nicely see the oxygen uh, 3 structure of the Westernville Nebula and also the ionized hydrogen, which is now shown in gold. Um, so yeah, uh, especially for the, 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 yeah, the limited imaging time, especially also for the uh, hydrogen alpha part of the picture. Um, yeah, I'm satisfied with this. I know that I have to collect more data in order to get a really nice picture of the Westernville Nebula. Um, yeah, of course, I, uh, I tweaked this picture some more in both Photoshop and Lightroom and I ended up with this. I hope you like it. Uh, please uh, leave a comment down below. Um, maybe it's a little bit too much, um, yeah, maybe overexposed, but, um, um, I, and I also I had to um, to apply quite a lot of noise reduction, uh, and this only shows that uh, I have to collect more uh, more images, so more data on this Westernville Nebula. This being said, you can nicely see the oxygen uh, three structure here, the ionized oxygen and the ionized hydrogen of the Westernville Nebula, and you can also nicely see that there in the broader structure there's also some nice nebulosity. Uh, going on. Uh, so for the time being, I'm really happy with this result. Um, and uh, please let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And please uh, yeah, consider subscribing to this channel if you find this information useful. Thanks. This is all. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.